Hey, welcome, or welcome back, to Four of Beauty, where will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. However, what I do know is that just recently I've done a couple of films where I create my own palettes. <clears throat> it started off with the Frankenstasia palette film inspired by Ari Lynette where I took all of my favourite shades from existing Anastasia palettes and made my own Frankenstasia palette. Um, and because I understood that a lot of people can't afford Anastasia I also decided to rework the Colourpop uh -huh, honey palette into shades that I felt were more workable, gave more options. So that was the first film. Then I did the Better Together collab <clears throat> with Nona where that was inspired by a tag that was started by um, Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Georgia Harris where inspired by the original 22 faced and cat from disease palette called Better Together they each designed half of a palette you, you get the idea if, I will try to remember to link both of those films in the description box along with this the tutorial for this eye look because I have now filmed it. But this inspired me to think, well, if I did suddenly have a film go viral and became YouTube famous, and then had a company con contact me someone like Kendo that does the Fenty is it Kendo does Fenty? no Kendo does the uh, kindness vegan beauty vegan beauty <clears throat> whatever they're now calling the Kat Von disease line since she handed her things like sure can I do Rana as well? Anyway, if I was approached by one of the bigger companies saying, okay, you've suddenly become this major YouTuber, I can dream right, put it out in the universe. When they stop laughing, they might just send me a few extra subs. Um, what would my makeup line look like? And it was one of those 3.33 in the morning, pain somnia, take a few notes as to what I was thinking of and then woke up in the morning you know, at a more sensible time, you know, 6 o'clock, and then think, actually, do you know what, I, I could do that, that's a good idea, and then started mucking around at the next time I was awake at 3 in the morning and before I knew it, I designed some makeup. So I thought, right, okay, let's let's start my own tag and see how many people want to do my makeup tag. So I'm gonna call the what am I gonna call this tag? That's very good. Um with enough gin I could have my own makeup brand. Works for me. That's what I'm calling it. With enough gin, I could have my own makeup brand. And I've put together some questions. I'm going to slide you across to one side, and you will swing back instantly. There we go. See? I know my tripod. That sounds so wrong. Anyway. 
I put together some questions about my brand. My, my brand, like it actually bloody exists. And I'll put some pictures up here when I get to that question of what my my launch will look like. Oh, right, okay. Be sensible now, you're a CEO of a brand. In my dreams, I know, right. First thing, obviously, what am I going to call the brand? It's got to be 4F Beauty, hasn't it? Has to be 4F Beauty. What else could I call it? My beautiful 4F babies, my wonderful 4F family. Got to be called 4F Beauty. Um, pricing. How would I want it priced? Now, obviously a lot of that's going to be out of my hands depending on who I'm collabing with. But I wouldn't want it to be Anastasia Fenty pricing. I would want it more, not necessarily the cheaper drugstore pricing, but maybe mid range. Like, you know how like NYX has got more expensive now? And they're like 20 quid for a palette where they used to be like 12 quid for a palette. I'm thinking maybe that kind of level. So sort of what NYX is now or you know, the Revolution, Re Revolution, Revolution Pro range, which is a little bit more expensive. Um, you know, some of the larger Colourpop palettes that hit the 20 quid mark. Yeah, around about that kind of... So it's still affordable for people. But obviously, the company backing me gets a kickback from it as well. What would my packaging and colour scheme look like? Well, despite the fact that up there somewhere, since I started, I've had a black and red lipstick. If I was having my own brand, I would want it to match my wedding colours. So I would want deep purple and sort of blackish purple and teal. So I'd, I'd probably, I'd definitely want roses with it somewhere as well uh, because I had roses as my bouquet. Admittedly, my roses were baby pink, but I would want my packaging. Deep purple, maybe a hint of black, with teal accents, possibly in metallic on the front of palettes and stuff. Hmm. Uh, what would my brand be known for? I know you're thinking highlights, but no. At my Painsomnia moments, I designed eyeshadows and lipsticks predominantly, so clearly that's what I would want my brand to initially launch with. Um, I think it kind of makes sense because, like my mum for example, she never used to wear makeup but she always used to put lipstick on. So I'd want a nice varied lipstick range for people who want to be a little bit outrageous with it or sensible for work um, and then I would also want eyeshadows for people like myself that have fun creating looks playing with colours um, oh you can bet your sweet life there's going to be some highlights in there before long but I think initially I would want eyeshadows and lipsticks to, to launch the brand on um, how many releases would I want to do in a year? I'd kind of want to pitch it like Anastasia used to be, sort of three or four a year. So I'm thinking spring, summer, round about our wedding anniversary, which is mid-April. Um, Halloween, love me some Halloween. And obviously Christmas, because everyone releases something at Christmas. So I'd want at least those three. 
maybe chuck another one in in the summer somewhere in between but I would I would definitely want the spring summer sort of you know, mid-April Halloween and Christmas uh, where would I want them sold um, again I would want them accessible to people so as well as having my own website obviously run by the backing company um, I would want them in drugstores so I'd want them in Superdrug and Boots which are the two biggest drugstores in the UK um, I'd also like to see them in some supermarkets as well so that if people are wandering around doing their weekly shop they can think oh that's a nice lipstick and just, just you know chuck it into their weekly shop uh, what ages will my, lip, will my makeup be aimed at? All ages. Absolutely all ages. I want everyone from my youngest goddaughter to be able to pick up a neutral lipstick to wear that is moisturising with SPF to protect her lips. Right the way through to you know, Chrissy's late grandma who was in her 80s. Still liked good lipstick. So I would want everyone to be able to find something that called to them from the range. Who would get PR? Now, I would be strategic with this because I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to become a victim of my own success. You see this so often. People launch something and then it sells much quicker than they anticipate. The websites go down, people get frustrated, then it takes ages to get everything shipped. So I want to start off sensibly. So I wouldn't necessarily send all of the PR out to massive beauty influencers. <clears throat> Obviously I'd send it to some, I'd send probably about 30% out to high-end um, and by high end, I'm talking people like um, Nady Poplux, uh, Paige Seeking Alexandria, Yuki, um, you know, sort of not the stratospheric Jeffree Stars and Nikki, although I might have said something Nikki Tutorials, but more the sort of you know, 100,000 to 750,000 sort of subscriber level. I sent about 30% out to them. 65% would go to smaller channels, like the channels that I've been collabing with. So people like Anya, Nona. Um, Kaylee people that I have collabed with would absolutely be included even if I had to pay for it out of my own pocket they would be getting PR um, and then 5% I'd like to keep for giveaways um, so that some of the smaller influencers smaller but larger so people like your Anya which have got a couple of thousand could be sent two palettes one to review and one to give away I'd like to do that um, who would I like to help launch it which celeb would I want to help me launch the range. <sighs> Absolute pie in the sky. Because let's face it, we're throwing it into the universe here. This is my ideal. Gotta be share. I mean, that woman has had so many different looks over the years. I would absolutely love for her to be kind of maybe the face of the brand. Um, 
you know, I, I've loved her since I was a kid. Loved her music, loved her films. You know, I, I sing quite a few of her songs at karaoke, for goodness sake. It only seems appropriate that she would then wear my makeup. Um, failing that, I'd really like the Vivian to be involved. She was the, or is, the first winner of the UK RuPaul's Drag Race. Race? Drag Race? Drag Race. That is difficult to say. Whew. I'm breaking these teeth in for the dog. And we don't have a dog. Um, but yeah, I'd love the Vivian to be involved. Some of the looks that she produced were just outstanding. Um, I'd like Laverne Cox to be involved. You know, she was the first trans actor nominated for an Emmy. And I'm saying actor because male and females are now called actors rather than actor and actress. They don't seem to split that anymore. But she was, she was the first trans actor nominated for an Emmy. So I'd love for her to be involved. Um, I'd love Lizzo to be involved. I love the body confidence that she has. Seriously, I just... The message that she sends out to girls. I mean, she can do a very strenuous dance routine. And not be out of puff. So she may be on the beer side. But girls fit. Um, and I love the fact that she encourages young women to embrace their curves when hu puberty hits them. And to accept what God gave you and work with it. You know? So yeah, those would be my my ideals, I think. Maybe Boy George, because yeah, I've liked Boy George for a long time. I always remember my auntie Barbara bought me the uh, Colour by Numbers album on cassette for my ninth birthday. Smoky boy George. Right. Now here's the fun bit. Here's where I get to show you what I've designed. I'm going to open it up on my phone and talk you through. So, there are Three eyeshadow palettes, a blush palette, and 20 lipsticks for the launch. So here is the cover of my first palette. This is the neutral one. And these are the colours. So top row is what everybody would class as neutral. Neutral browns. Starting off with a porcelain for those who need a bone toned shade for blending out the edges with. Then Shed of Dreams. Named after my husband's shed at his mother's. Bailey's Fudge, which my best mate Claire made me a batch of for my birthday one year. Mm. And Espresso Martini, my favourite cocktail which I discovered on a honeymoon in Ireland and drank far too many of them. Next row are my Movi Purple. And um, we've Starting off with a pink shimmer there, 
called Grace, which is my youngest goddaughter. Then Mauve or Marv. Then Caitlin, which is my eldest goddaughter. And then Beautiful Purple Sparkle, which is called Wedding Dress, which is the colour of my wedding dress. Then the bottom row I wanted to throw some grungy greens in because they're still neutral. They can still be used with that top row if you want to be a little bit more adventurous. So starting off with um, the pale green satin rather than a shimmer called Mojito. Another one of my favourite cocktails. Then going across to a sort of a dirty gold, like a, um, an olivey gold shimmer called Haze, as in the haze across the meadow. And then a beautiful khaki green called 3-6, because my dad was in the 3-6 Royal Engineers Regiment in the army. And then finishing off with that gorgeous vibrant green called The Ducks because I have a very close friend whose nickname has been Duck for years. Indeed, I only found out his middle name was the same as my husband's middle name at a friend's wedding after I'd known him over a decade. Long story. Then we have the bright one which looks a little bit like that so again starting off with blues we've got cornflower which is a gorgeous blue satin splish splash which is a bright blue because my husband has a habit when he gets in the bath, he splishy splashes everywhere. Water gets everywhere. Honestly, he's like a kid when he gets in the bath. It's hysterical to watch. Then we have a lovely sort of tealy blue shimmer called Kieran, which is my eldest godson. And then we have a deeper blue satin, which can also be used as a mat, called Callum which is my, for a long time he was my youngest godson, but I have since got another godson, so he's now the middle godson. Then the middle row, beautiful bright yellow, taffodil, because Welsh, daffodil, granddad used to call them taffodils, so seems appropriate. Then a gorgeous apricot shade called apricot because it's one of my favourite fruits and then a coral shade called nectarine because again love me a nectarine in the summer and then a bright red shimmer called dragons because of the Welsh rugby team and then because you knew I was going to have to put some more purples in there somewhere Starting off with a beautiful pale lilac called Lilac Leopard because when I was a kid we had different bus companies in Maidstone. There were uh, Maidstone and District, there was the Borough Line buses and then there were the ones called the Lilac Leopards which were lilac and had a leopard painted on the side of it in purple. So Lilac Leopard because I used to love getting on that bus just because it was lilac. Seems my purple thing started young. Then a lovely uh, purple shimmer called Blackberry Way because it's one of my husband's favourite songs. Then a nice matte purple called Purple Rain, one of my favourite Prince songs and one that I sing. And then a lovely mauvey or grey purple called Mazzy after one of my very, very close friends, Maz. Then we have the tropical one. 
This one's only an £8 palette. And as you can see, beautiful, hot, fiery, tropical colours. I get the feeling this one is going to be known as Favourite. So the first row, Tiki Shack, because I made my husband paint um, his shack, his shed at Man Cave at our place to look like a refresher's lolly. And if I can find a photo, I'll stick it on somewhere. Beautiful bright orange called Fender, because the first time I fell in love with the sound a guitar made was when I saw someone playing a Fender that was that colour. And then the orangey red of the General Lee, because, well, my Saturdays were full of the Dukes of Hazard, and A Team, and Knight Rider, and Street Hawk, and probably explains an awful lot about the way I drive. And then a lovely plummy red to finish with called Garnet, because I love a good garnet in a ring. I think it's beautiful, beautiful stone. And then the second row, beautiful apricotty orange called Tango, because I don't know why, it just made me think of the dance. That colour made me think of a tango in a an Argentine backstreet bar full of gauchos. I don't know, don't look, I, it didn't need to make sense, it was three in the morning. And then next we've got um, a similar shade but slightly deeper um, and a beautiful shimmer called AFS and that stands for the Auxiliary Fire Service which my granddad was part of during the Second World War. He went from the AFS to the NFS, which was the National Fire Service. I was very, very proud of him. Then we have a lime, but not a citric lime like you see in most palettes. I wanted a more... kind of colour of the inside of the lime skin called Lime in the Coconut because I love that song the lime in the coconut and then finish off with a beautiful lime three or four shades deeper than the lime in the coconut called Lager and Lime because I remember drinking quite a bit of that in the summer when I was a kid used to be able to buy these cans called Top Deck Lager and Lime and I doubt very much they were alcoholic but you could pretend they were. And then I did a, a blush palette called The Blushes. Lovely peach called Bellini because I drank quite a few of those the morning of my wedding. Me and the girls getting ready. And peach is a tone that works whether you are cool toned or warm toned or neutral. It looks good on everybody. Then a mauvey pink called blushing. And then a lovely sort of russety ready brown called faraway tree because I wanted deeper melanin. Um, for F babies to still be able to use this. Now it's time for lipsticks. So these are the first four. First one is Dorothy, which is after Chris's late grandma. It's also a bright red, so you can call it Dorothy's ruby slippers if you like. And then Mrs. Gumbo, Mrs. Duck, and Mrs. Badger. Uh, Gumbo, Duck and Badger are mates of mine and it's nicknames and I get on extremely well with their missus so they each get a lipstick named after them and in fact Mrs Gumbo is one of my best friends and has been for a long time now. Then we move on to the greens and blues, the more adventurous shades. 
These are Kieran, Caitlin, Callum and Grace, which are my four oldest godchildren. And then we get on to the sort of mustards through to greens. We have Harlan, which is our youngest godson. We have Spencer and Arlo, who are our nephews. And then we have Mazzy. You've already met her once. And I just thought that green lipstick on Maz would look amazing. And then we have Sierra, Mondeo, Polo and Ionic. Basically the four different brands of cars that I've driven throughout my life. My first two cars were Sierras, then I had a Mondeo, then I had a Polo. Then I had i30s, I had three different i30s. And now I've got an Ionic. So, it felt appropriate. And finally, these are the, apart from the, the blue, probably the more neutrally ones. St Michael's, which is a lovely type. That's the name of the church where my husband and I got married. Kapla. That's an inside joke between me and my husband. I'm not going to explain that one. And then the lilac and the pink are Shed of Dreams, which is his original man cave back at his mum's house. And Tiki Shack, which is his man cave here. So, there we go. That is my... If I had enough gin, I'd have my makeup line. Um, <laughs> I hope you've made it this far through. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, would you be tempted by any of the palettes or the lipsticks? Um, if you are going to create a lipstick that reminded you of me, what colour would it be? What would you call it? I'd be really, really interested to know that. Just to see how well my 4F family knows me. Right. It's quite enough blethering about a makeup range that doesn't actually exist. But I would like to see people do this tag. I would love to see what other people would choose as their makeup. So, as always, I tag anybody who has collabed with me. Let me bring myself back to the middle again. There we go. That's better. We can't. Yeah. Anyone who's collabed with me, I challenge you to uh, to do this tag. But the people that I challenge most, and because I know you did my Frank and Stasia one, so I really want to see what you would do if you had free reign creating your own makeup range. Kaylee, my 24 hour clock buddy, love to see what you would do and what inspiration you would use. I'm guessing your dogs would prove part of the inspiration because they are gorgeous. And Anya and Nona, my bitches of Eastwick, because I'm really interested to see what you'd both choose, especially after uh, mine and Nona's uh, Better Together collab, because she properly surprised me. You got me, girl. I was not expecting so many bright colours from you, but I was delighted to see them. So, there we go. This was my makeup tag. My gin makeup tag. Uh, if you are one of my 4F family, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still deleting people like you would not believe. 
if however you are new and you manage to sit through the entirety of this well done <laughs> uh, it would be lovely if you too would like to join the 4F family it's very easy to do we are the nicest family on YouTube just hit that subscribe button turn it from red to grey and you'll be welcome with open arms I've got an awful lot of other films you can watch as I said there's two previous films where I created makeup and there's this particular makeup look which hopefully I've remembered to have linked all three of them in the description box but there are an awful lot of others you can choose from as well just pick a playlist put your feet up and indulge right my darlings I think that's quite enough for me for one day so all that remains for me to say as ever my darlings is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time bye for now